Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and today we'll be doing the installation, initial installation for the Synology NAS, that's the DS412 Plus. Uh, but this installation should be applicable to almost any Synology NAS. And the things that you need are the Synology disk and the screws that you get and also the hard drive that we are going to install it. And the first thing you do is take out this front cover. That'll expose us all the four bays. I've already populated the hard drive, so let me just take out one of the drives. You just press this clip and just drag it out. And this drive base should come out. And what you do is take a new hard drive. This is a 3.5 inch standard hard drive and you mount it by screwing four screws, two on this side and two on this side. You can actually also use a laptop hard drive if you like and that can also be mounted here. Once that's done, this model, the DS412 Plus can take up to four drives. You can actually also make it work with just one drive, but I strongly advise that you go at least with two drives. Right now for this demo, we are going with three drives. And now that we have attached this hard drive to our tray, what we do is just notice a small arrow over here. Make sure the arrow that is pointing is on the top and you just take the drive and just slide it in. And you do the same for all the drives. I have populated one, two and three bays. This fourth bay is right now empty. And once this is done, take this front cover and gently put it back and power on this unit. Don't worry, it will take approximately about three or four minutes for powering it on. Now we need to do some software installation and take the Synology disk and put it in your DVD-ROM drive. I'll be showing you the installation procedure using a Mac, but it'll be very similar for Windows also. I have inserted the software disk that was provided and we'll go to the Mac OS X option and we're going to run this Synology Assistant. The Synology unit is uh, populated with three hard drives that are Western Digital 3 terabyte drives. Now I'm going to run the Synology Assistant and this should hopefully find us the distation. Yes, it did. And, uh, and we double click on the same and we get the setup wizard. And you need to download the latest DSM version from Synology website. I have already done the same. And this is the DSM version for the DS412 plus unit. It's a pad file and I just hit next and we need to create a admin account and I'm going to name this uh, Synology unit as the model name because I have multiple NAS and by giving the server name the same as the model number it will be easier for me it says invalid character so I'm going to remove the plus just give it as DS412 in this screen you need to set up the IP address for the NAS and I strongly suggest that you use the manual configuration so that you can give a static IP address and the default gateway for me is this and I hit finish and now it's installing the DSM on the Synology NAS and this can take quite some time depending upon your hard drive. If you have uh, larger hard drives and all the four ways are populated, it will take some while. So just to wait for a while while it installs the, the station manager on your Synology NAS. It has already done installing now and it's just rebooting. It's going to reboot the system now. Do not interrupt uh, the NAS. Let it reboot on its own. It's uh, showing that it's writing the configuration file and it says the system has been successfully installed and I can log in to the same and I'm logging in and the first thing we need to do is go to the storage manager and here we need to create the volume and I'm going to use the SHR option and here uh, I'm going to use all my disks and as it says uh, everything uh, all the data on the disk will be erased and I'm going to select yes and here it gives us an option to check for bad sectors I strongly recommend that you use the option uh, select the yes option and let the Synology NAS unit do a thorough check on your disk for bad sectors but ca this can take a couple of hours if you have uh, large disk 
Uh, right now for the demo, I'm going to use the no option. And uh, it's going to uh, use all the disks that I have in the NAS. That's the disk one, disk two, and disk three. And we're going to use the Synology hybrid RAID option. That will give us a capacity of about 5.45 terabytes. And I hit the apply button. And now the unit is creating the volume and you can see the status over here. Let it do its job. Do not interrupt the process. And this can again take a while. And after this volume is created, we need to just create a shade folder so that that folder will be visible on our network. The volume has been created. It took about 45 minutes. And as this is a Synology hybrid RAID, uh, we get data redundancy and uh, we have three hard drives. Uh, that's this one, this two and this three. Out of this three, if even one drive completely fails, we'll have all our data intact. And now the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a shared volume. And if you go to the file station, it will prompt us to do that. Just click OK. And here hit this create option. And I'm going to name this as media. And here we can give permissions. I'll give uh, all permissions, read and write permissions. And uh, our uh, media folder is created. And the next thing we need to do is we can also go to the control panel. And here you can create user accounts and once that is done click here and go to this package center and go to the available tab and here you can install all the packages that you like install you can install the antivirus cloud station the audio station the download station etc and i just want to show you that now the nas is fully functional and if i go to this link i need to Hit this option and connect it. Right now I just have one username that's the admin. And as you can see, we are able to access this media folder. So that's it for now for the initial installation of this TS412 plus unit. I'll be making a few more videos covering the various other important features offered by this NAS and also will do an in-depth review for the same. So stay tuned to my YouTube channel. I hope you found this video helpful. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and I hope to see you in my next video.